Okay, we're going to do an SAT math. So let's move on. There's a really long explanation for this question, and there's a really short one. So let's do the short one. Uh, a store sells two different sized containers of blueberries. This is pretty easy and straightforward. The store sales of these blueberries totaled $896.86. The equation 4.5x with 6.07y equals 896.86. This represents a situation where x is the number of the smaller containers and y is the number of the larger containers. According to the equation, what is the price in dollars of each container? Well, guess what? You don't even need to really substitute to solve this. Okay, and we have this here. You don't have to substitute. You can use derivatives, but this is long. This is going to take you a long time to use a derivative, and there's no sense in doing it. The simple answer is this. <laughs> this is what the book has, 4.5y. Now, what most people think is that they have to go um, around and say, but I've got to throw something in to get exactly what the answer is, but what is the price in dollars of each small container? They already told you because it was dollars over here. So it's 4.51. Simple, done. If you want to go through and do this long problem with derivatives, if you want to try to get the determinants of slope until you can get the right answer, you could, you could plug in a value like a 2 here, and then you're going to waste your time until you get 896. Okay, uh, then you're going to waste, waste your time. Um, and remember, a derivative is used in economics, it's used in stocks, it's used in calculus, it's used in algebra two. It just determines the change in price. And basic derivative, the formula is d over d over x. But any way you lead back to it, it's still going to get you to this derivative. Okay, let's look at some of the math we did over here. Uh, that's just this dx, dy, and d, d of 1 is this 4.51 times. 100 is going to give you 451, and this is x's value, this is y's value. Why would you go through all of this when you just solve the problem? This is d of x. This over here is d of y. Your answer is still going to be 4.51 because if you, you remember, if you change your decimals into fractions, you multiply by 100, and if you want them to go back from where they came, you go ahead and divide by 100, which is pretty much done here. So once you divide this, this is 4.51. You can tell Mr. Derivative to go goodbye. Done. Answers done. Question simple. These are all the other explanations to just add on to. There's not even any need to go any further. We're going to stop right there. And your answer was 4. Point five one. Get this easy question out of the way. Thanks for watching.